You are in for a treat today. Am I? Where are we you, going? You excited? No, I'm not excited. Going Neither's, to a fabulous lunch place. There's the baby. We're headed to Arby's. We're gonna do some low carb taste testing of their like Velveeta cheese roast beef. Probably the worst keto friendly fast food restaurant. Terrible. We have not been there in our entire time doing keto. And if I have ever gone, it's only been to get their curly fries because their curly fries are super good. And their Jamocha shakes. Jamocha shakes, you had those, right? Yeah, those are great. Okay, let's go. And Mega's 36 weeks pregnant. Like always guys, linked in the description of this video, we have a full guide ketoconnect.net we have like tons of probably like 20 different fast food restaurant guides now gives you exact orders what to avoid what to go for and at arby's there's not a lot to go for but we're gonna go for it all right let's go we're outside of arby's and we haven't tried it i don't want to judge it too soon because we haven't really gotten it on keto so maybe it blows my mind if you guys watched our carl's jr hardy's review yeah. that blew my mind yeah that was great and and thigh stop blew my mind I wouldn't go that far. Blew my mind. It was good. But what I do remember about Arby's is that the roast beef is sliced like paper thin. It's I wouldn't gross. say paper thin, but it's it's on the thinner side. If you guys are new and you're looking for like good keto fast food options, I would say Chipotle, which is not, I guess, fully fast food. Wendy's. Hardee's. Hardee's, Carl's Jr. Any sort of wings. Wings, I don't really consider those fast food, but yeah, Wingstop, Buffalo Wild Wings. Those are probably like your best options. And then like Five Guys or okay, uh, In-N-Out Burger, those are really good options too. Let's see if Arby's can kind of crack into the list though. Basically, I'm gonna go, I don't know their full offerings, but the blog post down below is gonna be made after this video, so we'll know what's up. You can check that out as a guide. I guess we're just gonna sample a bunch of stuff. They're not just roast beef either. Like that's all I know them for. I've never tried like turkey, chicken. Yeah, apparently they have pork, chicken, turkey, some salads. Something you can work on when ordering weird stuff at fast food places like Arby's without a bun is your self-confidence. So I'm gonna go in here like I own the place and just try to be confident and uh, make a solid order. Hey, give me one sec, I gotta get up to the menu better. That was very confident. So I am I need everything without a bun. I'm doing like a little low carb thing here. The brisket bacon flatbread with no, no flatbread. And I have the double beef and cheddar, no bun. Roast chicken salad, and maybe a roast turkey and Swiss sandwich. Okay. I think that'll do it. That was the most confident I've ever seen you ordering. Really? What about when I picked you up in Frisco? You messaged me on OkCupid and I... And you came a calling. Well, yeah, I messaged you back. We messaged three times and then you gave me your number and then I texted you and you dropped your phone like in the water. Went on dates with other girls. Yeah, basically ice cream with an Indian girl and kissed. And then- On the first date. You finally texted me back like five days later after I had deleted your contact because I was like, this guy's a scrub. Okay. Thank you. You're Oh, it feels so light because there's no bun. There's no bun. Are the buns that heavy though? Okay guys, we got a delicious haul from Arby's. We got our salad, our dressings that we don't usually eat because they use soybean oil. You know, the smells inside of Arby's were pretty nice and the smells from these bags are also pretty nice. I'm like... Fast food usually smells good though, doesn't it? Not always. So this was all 26 bucks almost. Yeah. And I, don't, I think we're gonna be underwhelmed with the food. Just the amount. Did they give us a fork in the bag? So this looks like the turkey one. Yeah, the uh, turkey and Swiss with no wrap. Okay, so I'll just show you them all like this. This is turkey and Swiss, no wrap. And with lettuce and tomato, the Swiss smells good. So it looks like a decent Swiss slice. And you know it's Swiss because it has a hole in it. But you know, you're paying like five or six bucks for this and like at the grocery store, this is like a dollar. If you made it yourself? Yeah. Yeah, this is five sixty nine. That's just nuts. That's not a good deal. No, I would agree. Unless it was like a lot more turkey. Because it's not that, it's not going to be that filling. Next up we got some, this must be brisket. That brisket, looks... Brisket, bacon, without a bun. So cheese, brisket, bacon. What's that? Is that cheese in the bottom? Yeah, right here. Melty cheese, okay and lettuce and tomato. It's Looks nice, decent. and it's nice that they put the lettuce on the bottom. So like it's, it is like on a bed. And this next one is oddly in a bag. This should be the double beef and cheddar. So it's in a separate bag, that must mean something. Cheesy, $5.99. Doesn't look too Where's cheesy. Where's the cheese? 
Wait, they literally just sliced roast beef and put it in a cardboard thing. They didn't give us our cheese and they charged us for the beef and cheddar and it says beef and cheddar on it. It looks like someone put the cheese in their mouth and then put it in the salad. I mean, the meat looks nice and te juicy and tender, right? Yeah. It just, it's not well placed. Like I, I just compare everything now to Chick-fil-A salad because their salads are just gorgeous. So Arby's roast beef, very thinly sliced. Paper thin, I told you guys. You can see light through it. But you know, like if you're going out for lunch with the coworkers, and this is your meal, you're gonna feel kind of like an idiot, probably. So don't. I wouldn't do this. be embarrassed. I just don't know how good it is. Mm. Very distinct Arby's flavor. I remember it now. Very salty. Very, like, gummy. I like it. Signature Arby's flavor, I'm into it. I would not eat that. Very salty, though. It, the first thing and the last thing and the middle thing flavor you get is just salt. Like, I would just. You're gonna blow up like a balloon after you eat all that. <laughs> It's tasty, but it's not a meal. Like they just, it's just a pile of- If it has the sliced. cheddar, like we asked, double cheddar. Now, what I think may be the hallmark home run here is this brisket. It cheese smells looks- smells like brisket too. It does? Okay, yeah. get in there. And there's bacon, cheese, brisket. This looks good. You could just pick this up and take a nice bite. Yeah, this is like, if you're going to Arby's and you want to have something that actually resembles a meal, I think this is a decent option. It seems like the best bang for your buck because it's only like 19 cents more than the double cheese and beef. Definitely the best bang for your buck so far. The cheese looks like some quality stuff too. I don't know. I like that. It's pretty good. It yeah. kind of just has like Arby's signature flavor. Like nothing's, it's not like barbecue brisket really. The cheese is really good. Bacon's not too salty and the meat is good. It's not too salty, which is a very drastic difference from the first thing we tried. Yeah. I, I think it's good. I this think is what I would order. For sure, me too. So this one probably looks like my favorite and I guess I'll just pick it up and take a bite. Yeah, it's just like- Not a lot of food. They went to Kroger. There, there's some onion in there, uh, tomato. This is ideal. This is clutch. 150% what I'd order. It's light, it's fresh, but it's way too overpriced and it's not gonna like fill me up by any means. But it's super good. That is really tasty. Yeah. They got some good seasoning in the chicken for sure. Turkey. Turkey. I mean, if you got two of those, assuming, I mean, like it's gonna be like 15 bucks, but. Say you could get two of those in some parallel universe for like six dollars, that would be a good meal. Or like ask for like double turkey and maybe they would charge you like an extra two bucks. That one's not bad. That one's definitely gonna be my favorite. I would go with the other one just for the food volume, for the price. Now we got the Sally. Which is very sad looking. They have some decent looking pieces of chicken. It looks like a nice chicken breast that they cut up. The chicken's good, right? Yeah. I think the chicken and the turkey are the best things here. Decent flavor. I mean, it's bland, but you yeah. know, salted at the very least. But I think like if you're near a Chick-fil-A, what is their salad? Like probably like eight bucks, right? Probably something like that. I uh, And that it's bigger. It has more option has just way better options. So I would just go for that. Overall full review on Arby's, I would say slightly exceeding my expectations. If you know what to get, I think you really got to know what to get. The turkey is good. The roast beef is not good on no. its own. I would mm -hmm. say don't get that unless you're like a diehard Arby's roast beef fan, then you'll probably like it. But uh, the brisket stuff was good. And the menu has a lot of brisket options on it. Yeah. And then I think like a good option, if you're just getting this and going back to the office, um, is maybe have some like low carb tortillas in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And if you just made your own sandwich there, that could be just could be good. perfect. That's it. I would say Arby's doesn't quite crack the top 10 like on the road options, but maybe it's hovering around the 10 to 15 range. So if we were on a road trip, which we were just on, and Arby's was the only option and we were both starving, we would wait till the next exit. We wouldn't even yes. go, right? I agree. I would say let's just hold off and maybe see what happens. Comment down below if you have some kind of top secret order at Arby's. See you next time.